bad news. Bad news. DC Universe Online is dead. Let's talk about it. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. In the next few weeks, heck, in the next few months, you will hear that DC Universe Online is dead. Although to be fair, it is something that we've been hearing for like 12 years now. But uh, in the next few weeks, you will hear it a bit more than usual. Why is that? Quite simply, the summer vacations are coming up. And usually people take a long break during the summer vacation. It's pretty much that simple. There is a cycle throughout the year that we see uh, pretty much every year. It's been a little bit different in the past couple of years because uh, for like two years, people have been stuck inside and could not go out. So these days, the summer vacation starts a bit earlier than it used to. Uh, basically, for pretty much as long as I can remember, when we reach the mark of July 4th, the population in DC Universe Online drops like a rock. So July 4th is just around the corner. Although for the past couple of years, it started to drop a bit earlier than July 4th. It started to drop around uh, June 1st. Although this year we were a bit fortunate and we had the name reclaimed that brought back a whole bunch of people. So there was quite a lot of people early June as opposed to last year. And also we got the summer seasonal that seems to have brought back some people. And heck, the triple currency from this week seems to have either brought back some people or kept a lot of people around that normally would be gone on vacation already at this point. But I can guarantee you that by July 4th, the population will drop like a rock, and that happens every year. It's been happening every year since pretty much I've been playing this universe online. So July 4th is when people decide to leave the internets and go on vacation in the real world. And most of the DC Universe Online player base does come from the US. And there's about the 66% of the player base that comes from the US. So it's no real surprise if July 4th marks the official start of the summer vacations. And it'll be like that until uh, end of August, early September. So basically July 4th, the population goes way down and it stays down pretty much most of the summer until the kids go back to school end of August, early September. Uh, there's been exceptions to that before, like uh, the summer when we did get the Wonderverse DLC. Actually, the Wonderverse DLC did bring back a whole bunch of people. So we did get uh, an increase in the population uh, early August uh, when uh, we did get the Wonderverse DLC that year. But as a rule of thumb, usually the population goes way down during the summertime in this universe online. Uh, there's also the Save the Universe event sometimes that did bring back uh, some people, but nowhere as much as when we did get the Wonderverse DLC. Like the Wonderverse DLC did bring back a lot of people, but the Save the Universe brought back some people, but not as much. And it's not just a DC Universe Online thing, I see it also in my numbers. Uh, during the summer, not a lot of people are watching YouTube, at least not as many people as the rest of the year. So if you see some people during the summer saying that DC Universe Online is dead, don't worry, that is normal. There will be less people playing uh, DC Universe Online during the summer. So once the summer vacations will be behind us, basically towards the end of August, and people will start coming back to the game, uh, there's also the new homecoming seasonal that might bring back some people. I'm not sure how successful it was last year. Uh, we'll have to pay close attention to the numbers this year when the homecoming seasonal comes back and see if it is a, a successful event or not. Although we will be overdue to get a new DLC uh, probably sometimes in August, maybe early August, maybe end of August. So that, that will influence the numbers as well. But usually the population starts coming back uh, again uh, late August, early September. And then when we do have Batman Day, Batman Day, is a, Batman Day is a pretty big event that usually brings back a whole bunch of people. So that's pretty much when we get a big population increase. And then we have the Halloween seasonal. Usually we have a new DLC sometimes in late October, November, sometimes early December. It's uh, different every year. And then afterwards we have uh, the Christmas seasonal. And then during December, pretty much around Christmas, like uh, December 22nd, 23rd, 24th, then once more, the population will drop like a rock, and for at least two weeks, the game will be dead. Dead, 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 dead. Again, no surprises there. Uh, people will be gone for the Christmas vacations. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, they, will, they will come back in January, early January, when we do get the anniversary event. There are a whole bunch of people that will come back. Although in February, the population will go down a little bit more. Uh, even though we will have the, the Valentine seasonal in February, I guess not that many people really care about that event because uh, it is fairly quiet during val the Valentine seasonal. And normally it stays very quiet until the end of March, early April, until we get the next DLC. 
And then once we do get the next DLC and the population explodes, and usually the game is very, very busy all the way until July 4th when the cycle begins again. So I guess in a nutshell, spring and the fall is when we get the most players playing DC Universe Online. We get less uh, during the winter and we get a lot less during the summertime. And now summer has begun, July 4th is just around the corner, so we should expect a pretty big drop in the population, at least until the end of August. So don't be surprised if you see some people that will claim that DC Universe Online is dead, dead, dead. Uh, it happens every year. Actually, it's been happening for like 12 years, even before the game was released. I remember some people were telling me that the game was dead before it was even released, and 12 years later, we're still here. I guess if you play PvP, I could see why you would think that the game is dead, uh, but that's not the case at all. It's just that the, the, now the focus of the game is literally PvE. We still have PvP. If you still want to play PvP, it is still possible, but nowhere near how it used to be way back when. Uh, from what we understand, there's roughly 20, only 20% 20 of the player base that used to play PvP way back when. It's probably less nowadays. And I guess the devs didn't want to put too much uh, resources into something that was only for 20% of the player base. I guess when they decided where to spend their man hours, uh, they decided to spend it for 100% of the player base, as opposed to only 20% of the player base. I guess I could see another argument for people saying that the game is dead, is if you play on a low population server. And depending on which server you play on, it's a completely different experience. I remember way back when, before they merged the PC and the PlayStation servers, playing on PC and playing on PlayStation, not at all the same thing. Uh, there was a lot more players on PlayStation, not so many players on PC, and even worse, if you played on PC, and if you played on the villain side, which has even less players, like there's a lot more hero players and villain players, so when you played on PC, and when you played on the villain side, uh, yeah, there wasn't a lot of players. And also depending if you play on the US server or on the EU server, again there's a lot less players that play on the EU server, and even worse, depending on which uh, platform you play on, there's a lot more players on PlayStation and PC, and less players on Xbox, and a lot, lot less players on Switch. So if you play on the US server, if you play a hero, you will have a lot, a lot of players, but if you do play on Switch, if you do play on the EU server, and even worse, if you do play as a villain character, then yeah, you're probably going to be playing uh, DC Universe Online Solo, because there's probably not a lot of players that play on that server. So from that point of view, I could understand if someone who plays on, the, on Switch, on the EU server, on the villain side, might think that the game is dead, but it's not dead, it's just that you play on a very, very, very low population server. It's sad, but that's how it is. Uh, I've been meaning to make a series of videos like how to play this universe online solo, especially for those who are on the low population server. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that soon. So if you hear people during the summer saying that this universe online is dead, don't worry. It's just that they don't understand that most people are gone for the summer vacation, or maybe they're just playing on a very, very low population server, like Switch, like on the EU, or even worse, on the villain side, on the Switch server. I do see some people that are very worried that uh, DC Universe Online might disappear. Uh, DC Universe Online should be around for at least the next 10 years. There seems to be a long-term plan when it comes to DC Universe Online. Now I understand that the fans are worried, like uh, we pretty much saw the end of the Snyderverse, uh, we saw the end of the Arrowverse, also we saw uh, Warner Brothers being sold to AT&T, and then later on being acquired by uh, Discovery and the evil Zaslav. I guess it depends on where you stand. Uh, if you're one of the people who are pretty much uh, unhappy that the bad girl was cancelled, then yeah, you probably call uh, Zaslav uh, the evil Zaslav. And there's a whole bunch of people who seems to see uh, Zaslav as some sort of a savior. And uh, they seem to think that he will save uh, the movies or even uh, the DC Comics uh, somehow. Uh, I'm pretty much somewhere in between. Uh, I guess I should make a video about that at some point. But seeing all the changes at Warner's that happened in the past year or two, I can see how DC fans are very, very worried right now, especially DC Universe Online fans. Although, short of, uh, short of Warner pretty much uh, declaring bankruptcy, or short of uh, Daybreak Studios pretty much burning down, 
I don't think we should worry about this universal line too much. Now, people may not agree with some of the changes that are being made to the game. Like, we just got the new emote system that's been added to the game recently. Some people were not too happy about that. Some people were very happy about that. It's a bit too early to tell at this point. I guess if we see more and more emotes uh, being added to the marketplace, it will mean that there's enough people who like it so that uh, it's worthwhile for DC Universe Online to keep on making more emotes. If somehow we see those new emotes uh, pretty much disappear, uh, we'll understand that uh, maybe it wasn't as successful as we thought. Uh, usually when something is not successful, uh, we DC Universe Online pretty much stops doing it. Uh, for example, at some point they added some white mods to the time capsule. Those white mods are pretty much gone from the time capsule. They added uh, Legends PvE at some point, and then stopped adding uh, more Legends PvE in the game. So, once something is successful, they keep on giving us more. If it's not so successful, uh, they just stop doing it. It's pretty much that simple. But uh, whether we agree or disagree with uh, the direction of DC Universe Online, they do seem to have a game plan, a long-term game plan for the next, uh, I would say, 10 years. I'm pretty sure it was mentioned even in one of the, uh, the reports that we're planning for the next 10 years. Uh, they're also working on the PS5 client, and I could have sworn they mentioned at some point that they were working also on a graphics update. And some people seem to say that it's not going to be graphics update, it's only, to, it's only going to be a PS5 client. Although when we did get the PS4 client, we did get a pretty big uh, graphics update with the PS4 client. So I would expect pretty much the same thing uh, for PS5. Also, we are seeing some better textures with certain styles or even certain maps. So it makes me think that they are working to upgrade the graphics. And we are seeing uh, bits and pieces of it here being added here and there. Before they actually roll out the whole thing. Who knows? By the end of the year, by 2024, at this point, we're going to have to wait for more information. So I do believe there is a graphics update in the works but I have no real proof about that and there's a, no official announcement about that although again I'm pretty sure it was mentioned at some point but I could be misremembering but either way uh, there seems to be a long-term plan when it comes to DC Universe Online so if you are worried about DC Universe Online shutting down tomorrow don't worry it will stick around for a while yes obviously someday hopefully many years uh, from now yes at some point DC Universe Online will shut down and also, when that does happen, all the money you spend playing DC Universe Online, yes, that money will be gone. And basically, you're not buying the game, uh, you're just renting it until it shut down eventually. Hopefully, it will shut down uh, many years from now in 2053. Uh, I guess we're going to have to wait and see for that. So at this point, don't worry too much about DC Universe Online being dead. As someone once said many years ago, the report of DC Universe Online's death has been greatly exaggerated. 